Welcome to another video in Microsoft 365 course and this is Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video we are going to see how to use the subscription that we have purchased in the last video. So you can log in to office.com with the account that you uh, used to purchase Microsoft 365 subscription and once you logged in in the right top uh, near to your email address or your profile details you will see my microsoft account so that will take you to the account details and where you can see uh, the option to share the subscription so once you completed the purchase this is the place you have to go and uh, do the necessary configurations or uh, enter the email address of the people you want to share it actually so you can see that i have a subscription uh, Microsoft 365 family which is the, the recent purchase that I have done for this demo is what's showing there and on the top you will see manage Microsoft 365 family uh, service and subscription once you click there that gonna take you where you can manage Microsoft 365 subscriptions so the first option is about manage subscription then second is a uh, share subscription so you can share up to five people so in total uh, six people and each pe uh, person can enjoy one terabyte of uh, one drive cloud storage they can also install office on computers up to five computers so each person out of this uh, six each person can install five devices uh, the uh, ms office application into five devices so that's a good choice then you have one terabyte for each user so first let's see how to manage the subscription for example uh, i purchased uh, as a monthly payment plan um, so i have an option to switch the plan to yearly or i can uh, turn off the recurring billing so i click on turn off recurring billing then uh, now uh, it will be valid only until uh, 18th of uh, october uh, because i paid for one month only so you have an option uh, for example you are doing this for a short term period then um, you can use this you can also uh, cancel uh, the subscription so these are the first way for you to manage your subscription then you have an option to share it share it means uh, this uh, includes like six people can consume it so when you click on the start sharing you have two options one is to share using a link and the second option is to share uh, through an email address so uh, create a link means you can create a link and uh, you can share that link uh, by uh, whatsapp or some other uh, means of uh, messaging tools or you can invite by email so that you just enter an email address then click on the invite that will send an email as an invitation uh, to the recipient email so once you complete the invitation email uh, microsoft will pop up with an option that you can add it as a, a family member uh, there are benefits of doing this uh, that we will see in the coming videos for now just uh, skip it and we see how the sharing and accepting this uh, invitation gonna work now let's see from the recipient side how this invitation gonna work so i have logged into the recipient email address and you can see that there is an email already in the inbox uh, which is about the invitation uh, to be a part of this uh, subscription so just click accept and that gonna take you to the uh, subscription page so now by clicking on get started you will be a part of this uh, subscription uh, the payment and other things will be uh, taken from the primary account as you are just a consumer of this uh, subscription uh, you don't need to worry about anything uh, the recipient only need to use their account so once you click on get started this will create this package uh, for you and that's gonna take you to the home page so like we uh, did in the previous account the primary account uh, once you log in on the right top uh, near to your profile you will see my account and from there you can go to the service and subscription and there you will see whatever you have actually so you can see the first thing is microsoft 365 family where you have an option to leave the subscription so you already subscribed which is a you are a part of this so you have an option to leave this subscription and you can see you have a OneDrive, then skype then outlook and also you have an option to install office on all of your computers which is up to five devices you can install 
so let's see first the one drive once you click on the one drive you can uh, see it will open for you and uh, by default i think 5 gb is the one drive capacity as now you are a premium you are a part of this uh, uh, microsoft 365 subscription you have a one terabyte premium one drive storage if you still have confusion how to reach to this uh, page it is easy you just log in uh, to your email address then you will see my microsoft account and that gonna take you to the uh, my account dashboard where you will find there is an option uh, to manage microsoft 365 personal services and subscription so let's also see how to install a office application in your device you can just click on the install office then you can select the language then you just click to install that will download a small exe file which is just 8.1 mb in size then once it complete you can install and that gonna download the packages whatever it need and install it in your system So now the installation has completed. The next step is to activate it. So before we uh, activate Office application using a license, uh, here it is different. Here you're gonna sign in with your credentials. So just click on the Office that will pop up with a sign in option. So simply click on the sign in. Then you just enter your credentials. So you have two choices, your work or school or Microsoft account. This is a Microsoft personal account. So click on Microsoft personal one. Then you enter your email address and password. Then click next and that's going to complete the subscription activation. So if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription available with this account, this will activate it. And this is how the activation gonna work with the uh, Microsoft 365. So if you were using other packages like Office 2021 or Office 2019, you get a uh, license code and that you enter it and activate it. So the activation method is different here. Your username is how you activate your uh, MS Office application. So this is a Office dashboard, which give you an idea about what are the applications that are available to you. So you can see Excel, Word, OneDrive, Teams icon here. So from here you can open the applications and it will also give you like recent applications and what is shared with you and all. So I open a PowerPoint application. You can also open the PowerPoint from the start menu like you we generally do. So once you open the PowerPoint, as it is the first time we are opening, you can see that uh, you have a Microsoft 365 subscription with this account. So you want to use with this account or you want to use another account. So I just uh, canceled it. I didn't accept it. These are the uh, initial dashboards which ask about the uh, personalizing this application. So once you're done with this, uh, if you want to activate it in, uh, in uh, manually, then you can see you have an option in the file account where the activation required is shown in yellow uh, icon. So you just need to click on the activate product. So we already signed in uh, in this uh, office with uh, our ac uh, subscription account. So you just need to select it. So now this is activated and you can see it belongs to this account and the product contain this, this, this icons are showing there. If you want to change the license, just click on it and you can see use a different account. So once you click on it, you can change the two different account. So this is how you can use and also you can see that it is connected with the account onedrive so you will be able to save a copy to to the onedrive directly so that's also an added advantage you can create uh, folders in onedrive from here so you don't need to like uh, one save it in a local disk then copy from uh, there to your onedrive no need to go for such practices you can do everything from here uh, this is going to make your life easier uh, with 365 because it's a one terabyte storage and uh, you feel like you are connected with all the services you, you require actually now let's go back to the our primary account which we used to purchase this subscription so from here you can see the status of the invitation uh, so we created two invitation one was by email and one was uh, a share link 
so only one is accepted so you can see that one of uh, five people are sharing which means the one uh, already accepted the invitation and started using it then uh, you can see pending link which is what's a link i created just to show you how to do with the link so i just created it so now we have only active uh, sharing which we can stop by simply clicking on the stop sharing option so that is all in this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video